Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go on now like 11 51 actually i'm getting ready to leave the house and run a couple of errands is anybody like this you guys like do you guys have a hard time telling people no i feel like like in the grand scheme of things i don't like you know like at work or like in my normal day-to-day -day life i feel like i for the most part i'm pretty pretty good at speaking up for myself like i used to be really good when i was younger like i would just say like no 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 but you know, like when you get older, like sometimes you do have to do stuff that you don't necessarily want to do. But I'm not talking about in a sense like that, like at work or situation where you have to really say that you're uncomfortable with something. But I'm talking about like situations where you just kind of overextend yourself or like you make all these plans and then you realize like, you know what, I just need some time to myself. I feel like I have such a hard time like feeling bad, missing events like birthday parties and like I just feel... I don't know but anyways you guys i had some plans today and i just really pretty much felt like i needed a rest day so and i feel like i am such an overthinker in that like since like sometimes i just put too much thought in it like if you are not up to something or you just cannot make something like that's okay it's not the end of the world like it happens you know like sometimes you just need a rest day sometimes you need to enjoy your days and you know i just feel like relaxing today not doing much relaxing babes at work when she gets home we'll have dinner and just have a little us time and that's it and i can get prepared for these next couple of days that i have to work but i am just not feeling it so all right you guys so i'm pretty much done with my errands for the day i found my mama birthday card it's really nice i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because i'm in the line right now at wendy's literally just because i wanted to get a drink <laughs> Not even for no food, but there's like literally six cards in front of me. So I figured I'd do a little mini haul. So I got this pretty little card and it just says, Dear Mom, I just want you to know that every year as I understand a little more about life and as I learn a little more about myself and as I see a little, a little more of the world around me, I realize and I'm so much more grateful for what a wonderful mother I have always had in you. Happy birthday. So I thought that was first of all a beautiful card and it's super sweet so I think she'll like that and then also I found the canvases so me and babe are going to do like a little at home date tonight so I found these little well I just kind of planned it on the whim I just was like oh, we should do something fun and so I found these cute little canvas kits um and it's just a value pack these are like two bucks and it comes literally with the canvas or maybe they were three dollars it comes with the canvas and it also comes with the brush and the paint as you guys can see so i thought that'll be super cute and they just both say born to shine so yeah i got that so we're gonna do those and then i'm just gonna make hamburger helper for dinner tonight so i got some hawaiian rolls to go with that
it is later on. I'm home from work. I got home a little late because my co-partner was freaking late as she always is. And she walked in with her freaking, uh, what do you call it? Starbucks. Oh, you guys. I want to show you guys a sneak peek. I got a package, you guys. If you've been following me for a while. Oh, back to what I was saying. But she walked in with her Culver's and Starbucks, which means she made two stops. Like, girl, you're 30 minutes late to work. <sighs> like, anyways, y'all, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just ran down the stairs and up the stairs for my package. And I was so thirsty to open it. But I actually want to open it. But yeah, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I have a, uh, I have a company, I have a business called the Forever Glam Shop. And you guys know I used to sell bracelets. Um, they were like custom counter charm bracelets. And I took a break. I told you guys I was going to be rebranding. I had been, I've been kind of just figuring out like what I really wanted to offer, what products I wanted to offer. You know, I've been looking into different quality of things. And so I've really been just really on it lately. And you guys, babe was just like, we were just talking the other day. Because we always talk about like our goals, plans, starting businesses. Because we have a lot of really like-minded business ideas. And just we're both super ambitious and goal-oriented, which is like a, a great match. So she's like, go for it. You know, I think this will be perfect. So literally... She actually ordered this item, you know, get you somebody that's going to invest in you. You know what I'm saying? That believes in you. I'm so excited though, because my stuff came y'all. And this is just kind of like makes it real. Like I'm really doing this, you know? So anyways, you guys, there's going to be a relaunch of the Forever Glam Shop. I've just been working. This is some packaging of some stuff. So I'm super excited. This is just the beginning. Obviously there's a lot more that's been going into it, but I'm going to show you guys more kind of as I get a little bit closer and have more things i actually have a whole little idea so stay tuned for the month of august because i'm so excited honestly you guys like it's my birthday month coming up starting sunday and i just cannot wait honestly you guys like i'm just you know it's the last month of summer like i'm just trying to really just be about it really change be on some different level stuff y'all hey y'all so this is the taco kit that we me and babe get the old El Paso. It's pretty good. Honestly, growing up, my mom got the Blue Box, which is the Ortega brand. And I really like that brand a lot um, too. But, you know, what do y'all think? Are you guys old El Paso, Ortega? Does it matter to y'all? Let me know. And then this is the cheese that we have. I usually get Mexican cheese, but so we got in the fridge today. Hey, y'all. So today is Thursday and not feeling it today, but I just got to my hair appointment. Just wanted to check in and vlog and i'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards and not looking forward to sitting down for these couple of hours but yeah this is the before y'all new hair who this <laughs> you know just kidding y'all but it's like 11 o'clock sorry i'm talking so little babes in the room sleep um, so I don't want to be too loud, but I wanted to show you guys my hair before I put my scarf on. I love how they turned out, single lease twists. But yeah, I'll probably put my jewels and stuff on tomorrow. But yeah, you know when you get your hair done, your skin just be looking right, like, yes. <laughs> decided I was going to film like my go-to face right now I just think that'll be a nice little interesting video so yeah that's what I'm about to film get ready with me style and yeah y'all just wanted to check in with y'all we are slowly but surely oops sorry y'all we are slowly but surely getting everything knocked off the list but I got these lashes I wanted to show you guys well babe got them for us I don't even know if I showed you guys our little result of our date night i don't know if you guys can even see but yeah that's what it looked like i haven't seen anything like this it comes with a little guide on how to apply strip lashes and then it also came with some liner glue so i can't wait to try that out um it comes with a little spoolie brush i don't know what this is 
and then it comes with the lashes on there and they're pretty dramatic and then a little lash applicator so i'm like oh that's a bomb little starter set but yeah i'm really curious to see how this uh in the packaging is like beautiful how that lash glue works hey y'all so we just got done filming well the first video anyway i just got done filming my summer foundation routine and yeah i think it turned out pretty good so i'm gonna definitely that'll be going up for you guys but i wanted to just come on here because i literally used the lash liner that i was just telling you guys in the video i wasn't even planning on doing it but i'm like let me just go ahead and try it out bomb like i can't even believe these lashes are literally on by a little thin layer of liner i'm not that great at it but period it works so good like period so now y'all i'm getting ready to film some more so you guys know typically when i get the braids i put in those little jewels and stuff so i want to put in some jewels oh got some makeup in my hair in my in this hair and i'm hungry as heck it's 2 22 and i haven't eaten anything so i have been trying to oh my gosh he needs to not be driving that car around anyways i've been trying to do like um start back intermittent fasting because when i do my little 21 day challenge or i guess it's gonna be 28 days because i'm gonna be up to my birthday um starting on sunday the first so I'm like, I want to kind of get used to it, you know, because sometimes I fast, like intermittent fast unintentionally, especially with food, maybe not with coffee. Like if I'm at work, I need to have my coffee and I'm going to have to still do that. But besides that, like I'm not eating and I'm cutting off my eating at night. So anyways, long story short, it's going to be three o'clock before I get home with my, at least three o'clock before I get home with my food. So yeah, I don't know what I wanted. I wanted to go and sit down somewhere and do like a solo lunch date but i actually don't feel like doing that anymore um now that i did all that content i filmed two reels y'all and a tiktok like i'm i'm like who is this girl period no but seriously so anyways we're about to go to i wanted to so we're trying to go get some food so right now i'm trying to decide between chick-fil-a and subway i don't know what it is but i love me a good subway sandwich with some chips and a drink like I could definitely kill that but chick-fil-a sounds good too so i kind of want to go to five below and get this scratch get this book like a journal um so i kind of want to go and see what they have um and it's only 12 minutes away just kind of look around get out the house a little bit but i guess i could do that tomorrow <laughs> Turn up the 